I think we're having an experiment in democracy today. Uh, some, in some locales, you have a small group of people who claim 100% of the power for themselves. Uh, here we have a small power group. Uh, like my family's been here for five generations, and I have a voice, and you guys do. And you need to keep your voices at Prescott College or in the barrio where they belong. And uh, so, this is the beginning. This isn't the end of a of anything, a bench or whatever. This is the beginning of a movement of inclusion. I don't want to say diversity because that's a swear word in Prescott. down here to take a look at Kristen's work here, okay? Uh, my personal opinion is, is I don't understand what the problem is. If this is the worst thing that the town council or some of the other organizations or departments can worry about, what I would suggest they do is wait until the product is finished. If at that time they feel it's a hazard, then do something to rectify it. But until that time, leave her alone. It's why everybody feels so pressured and is so impacted by negativity. That people are, it upsets me that people are projecting onto other people what's actually coming from them and that a lot of their, their feelings right now is anger, confusion, pressure, fear, a lot of it, and it's being spewed out on everybody else and causing a lot more fear. People, it seems, have a tendency to form an opinion on things without finding out what the facts are. They, they make judgments based on past experience, not on what's actually happening in an event they're making an opinion about. And when I get to be queen of the world, I'm going to change it. I feel really light right now, I guess. I guess what's on my mind now is that no matter how many times people tell me, just follow your heart, I still try to go with what's logical because I live so much up here. And even though I was feeling like really low about compromising on this bench situation, I was just feeling like so low. And people were like, you gotta follow your heart. And I was like, well, this is just logically what's best, I guess. And as soon as I, I guess I thought that it was like black or white. It had to be this way or that way. And as soon as some gray options were introduced, I'm like, well, since this is gray and it's a compromise, it has to be right. But now I know it's not really true. I mean, black or white could still be right. It just means that they're not the only options. And I just feel like, Maybe this is like the first time in my life I've ever actually understood following your heart. Like, it, it takes it takes me a lot to not like live up here. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I can finally feel what feels right. I guess it feels good. <laughs> The rest of us are going to be included in public discourse around town here and we're, we're going to keep getting louder and louder and louder until all those crazy people die off. And then we're going to keep getting louder and louder. <laughs>